Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today's episode is brought to you by Women's Rights News on Facebook, advocating global women's rights, intersectional feminism, and gender equality. Here is the Feisty News for Women. A middle school in Massachusetts was disowned by the Catholic Church after refusing to remove the Black Lives Matter and gay pride flags flown directly beneath the American flag in front of the school. Bishop Robert J. McManus said the flags at the Nativity School of Worcester were sending mixed, confusing, and scandalous messages about the church's stance on moral and social issues, and the flags embody specific agendas or ideologies that contradict Catholic teaching. He said, it is my contention that the gay pride flag represents support of gay marriage and actively living an LGBTQ lifestyle. This is also true of Black Lives Matter. The Catholic Church teaches that all life is sacred and the church certainly stands unequivocally behind the phrase Black Lives Matter and strongly affirms that all lives matter. Hmm. The issue with some religions is because they live their lives constantly feeling judged and condemned by their higher power, they go out into the world to act as the higher power and judge and condemn others. Without mincing words, if publicly acknowledging that Black Lives Matter and people should be encouraged to love who they want to, regardless of gender, is a problem, then you're actually saying loving each other without restriction is a problem. Is that what your God teaches you? In other news, in anticipation of the U.S. Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade, which offers federal protection of the right to access abortion services, lawmakers in California have proposed a bill that will make abortion access a part of the state constitution, guaranteeing that no woman would ever be denied access to abortion in California. This amendment will also protect access to contraceptives and prohibit the state from denying or interfering with an individual's reproductive freedom in their most intimate decisions. Opponents of the bill believe that the vague language could legalize abortion up to the point just prior to delivery. The bill is proposed to be on the ballot in November. In other news, the Madras High Court in India recently ruled that sex workers should not be arrested or penalized whenever a brothel house is raided by the police because running a brothel is illegal, but no one who's present can be detained merely because they are present. Why is there such a stigma surrounding sex work? Let's chat with Allison Bass, an award-winning journalist and the author of Getting Screwed, Sex Workers and the Law. Welcome to the feisty, Allison. Why is there so much angst against sex work in our society? That's a good question, T. Erica, and I'm delighted to be with you on the feisty. Uh, I think that the bias has to do with um, ages, centuries old morality uh, about controlling how women use their bodies. Do you know that there's almost as many uh, male sex workers as female sex workers in this country, but they're not, the male sex workers are not the ones who are getting arrested and abused, uh, particularly uh, by police. Uh, and I think that goes back to the centuries old sense that uh, uh, women are not allowed to uh, control their own uh, sex. I mean, there's been a, a long time bias against women having multiple partners and, um, and women uh, selling sex. And the reason why I argued for decriminalization in my book is for public health and safety reasons. Uh, in countries where sex work is legalized or decriminalized, it's much safer uh, for women because and men because they can go to the police and they can report uh, when you know a, a client tried to harass them or rape them, um, and they can report those those crimes, and so they can work with police to get violent predators off the street. Um, but in in the United States, because it's criminalized, sex workers um, are afraid to report 
uh, crimes to the police. So that allows violent predators to operate with impunity. So in the case of serial killers like Ted Bundy and Gary Ridgway, who uh, was found to have um, killed up to more than, he acknowledged killing at least 40 women and they think he killed more in the uh, Washington state area. Um, the sex workers knew, they knew who it was, but uh, they either couldn't go to the police or if they did, the police didn't believe them because he was a so-called upstanding white member of the community. Um, so if it's decriminalized, it would make it easier for sex workers to work with the police. It also would make it easier for them to access health care. Uh, to protect themselves from sexually transmitted diseases, to get ha decent housing. So for all those public health and safety reasons, it makes sense to decriminalize sex work because the criminal laws aren't really stopping sex work. They're just making it more dangerous for sex workers and their clients and indeed for all women. Um, there are studies that show that when sex work is legalized, violence against all women go down both in the United States. What happened, what, uh, the, the study in the United States is fascinating because they did they looked at Craigslist before it took its erotic um, uh, services page down. And they found that in the years when Craigslist allowed sex workers to advertise online, violence in urban areas in the United States actually decreased. Thank you, Allison, for this wisdom. You are so right. The attack against sex work is really just an attack against a woman's freedom to express herself sexually. We are not the property of men existing solely for their sexual pleasure. They know it, which is why they seek to convince us otherwise. Well, it's time for a break. What did one woman give up in order to have freedom to enjoy life on her own terms? And have you ever wondered where all the men with big energy are hiding? I found them. More on these exciting stories after the break. Don't miss it. Hey, my name is Fong Tran and I am an ACSM certified exercise physiologist or you can call me a personal trainer. My job is to encourage women just like you to understand true fitness and designs an exercise routine that fits into your life as opposed to you falling into an endless cycle of disinformation and that's the whole reason why I created Be Active is Easy Be Active is Easy is exactly what you think it is when you think of being active or being fit in general you think of all kinds of rules what to do, what not to do that's why my training program Fun Fitness with Fong and Taylor Fit are personalized to your lifestyle and experience I'm literally at a gym right now preparing to teach women to exercise correctly this is what I do so once again if you have any question about fitness look out for Be Active is Easy on Instagram, Twitter or even on Google welcome back I am T. Erica with the feisty news for women girl guess what did you hear about the online community where women can find men who are extremely well endowed? Girl, yes. There's a subreddit for men called Big Problems or BDP, where men join to discuss the issues that come along with having large penises. Now you would think that they were just bragging about themselves, but this isn't the case. These men actually discuss the real issues like when the toilet water touches their dicks, struggling to find the right fit for condoms, worrying about accidentally hurting their partner or the reality of being too big to fit into some vaginas that are smaller in size. Men even shared how they're bothered that they get groped almost every time they pass through airport security and have had women non-consensually grab their penis when they were out at clubs and bars. Wow. When you think about it, if you're a bold woman like I am, you've probably seen a fit and fine man and then casually grabbed his butt or ran your fingers across his chest to flirt with him. You would never think in a million years that this would make him uncomfortable, but would you like for a man you've never met to come up to you and grab your breasts or your behinds? If you wrinkled your face in disgust at the thought of that, then imagine what men must feel like when we touch them without their consent. It's really sexual assault. Men's bodies are not open access for any woman who likes what she sees. We women have to do better about learning to express our lust and attraction for men. Instead of eyeing a sexy man and automatically filling him up like he's a piece of meat, we can instead tell him verbally how we feel. 
You are so beautiful to me. I would love to feel what it's like to be wrapped in your arms. Words of admiration makes men feel amazing and could probably gain you the consent you want to put your hands all over his body. Let's give men the same respect we feel we deserve. They deserve it too. In other news, we're living the feisty life and sometimes it means pivoting to the right when you plan to go left. That's what Karita did when she decided that she didn't want to miss out on the most important moments with her family because she had to work to care for them. The choice she made was tough, but the benefits were many. Karita, tell everyone how you created freedom for your family. Hi, my name is Karita and I am home free by choice. Uh, this, this is a completely different lifestyle than uh, a lot of people are used to and it didn't always start out this way. I purchased a house when I was 26 in San Diego and after the birth of our son, my wife and I had a baby and after he was born, I went back to work seven weeks after giving birth to him a month early and that really made me upset. So my wife and I decided, you know what, we want to travel. We want to actually spend time and see our son growing up instead of uh, me being involved in passing. So what we did was we made a plan to sell everything and kind of quit and travel the world. So that was our plan. Um, things did not go as planned because the pandemic hit so that changed our plans so what we did was we just hopped around it's been an interesting journey we've been to beijing we've been to hawaii we lived in mexico for a year we lived in colombia and it's been phenomenal and honestly a lot cheaper to do that than it was to live in san diego we had a blast getting to know different communities who really embraced us, embraced our son. So now our little three-year-old speaks Spanish. Uh, he's loved everywhere we go. <laughs> Even now, we still talk to his preschool teacher from Mexico. She messages him once a week and they talk so he can still speak Spanish, well, Spanglish a little bit, but it's been phenomenal. And the amount of time we've been able to spend together as a family has been so invaluable. Instead of going to work and seeing him an hour a day, we're together every day, even though I still work remotely. But having the opportunity to take a pause from work for an hour or two hours, watch a movie, play, it's just been life-changing for us. I couldn't imagine ever going back to a life where we don't have control over our time. So we're able to fly all over the world, we're able to view different things and we feel extremely privileged for that. And it's phenomenal. Even as a two mom family, as being two black women, it hasn't always been easy. It's been some struggles where we've encountered people who wouldn't let us eat at the restaurants. But to continue to persevere through that because you can't let someone else's ignorance uh, change you. So it's been an amazing adventure and I can't imagine what else is in store. At just 32 years old, I'm excited to see what life has to offer. Karita, it looks like you're having a blast and your baby is so cute. Your family is so lucky to have you and making a great decision. Thank you so much for sharing. Well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the feisty. 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 Welcome to the feisty. feisty. Welcome to the feisty. News for women. <laughs>